do, 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 do. From the lamp's confines. I was in that thing for quite a long time. Wow! A rhyming magic genie! No, actually, that was just a mistake. But now you have three wishes to make. Wow! You rhymed again! Oh, I did, didn't I? But I assure you that was just an accident. Oh, me, oh, my. You totally did that on purpose. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Fuck this, I'm getting another genie. Ooh. Yeah, baby, yeah! That is so outdated. Wait a minute, somebody took my idea for a movie? You mean Austin Powers? Austin Powers! That was my idea! Oh, fuck this, I'm getting another genie. Mini-me, Dr. Evil, did they do that stuff? Hey, kid, I'm Darren, your genie. Eh. Now we're talking. Hello, kid. Hello, genie. So I get three wishes, right? That's right. You are the lucky recipient of three magic wishes. These wishes may drastically change your life. So think long and hard about what you really want and what may improve your existence, and then make your choice. I want my teacher dead. Uh... Look, I want you to know I really don't feel comfortable doing this. I don't give a flying fuck. Shoot. Never even used one of these before. It's easy. That's the business end. Point it at the target and go to work. But it'll make her die. And that's my wish. Now do it. Okay, okay. You can do this. You can do this. You're a fucking genie for Christ's sake. <laughs> Did we get her? Oh, you fucking got her. Oh, oh, oh. Now about my second oh. wish. I want to have sex with Megan Welbley. Who's that? She's the hottest girl in school. She's a senior. Kid, I don't know. You're a genie. You have to make it happen. That's the rule. Oh. Hi. What do you want? Well, I don't know if you've noticed any of the freshmen this year or anything. But I have this friend who's he's really cool and he thinks you're really Meg pretty. Morgan. It's just some smurf. Actually, I'm a genie. Kid, get in. The talks didn't go so well. So about my third wish. What could you possibly want now? I want to be president of the United States of America. Kid, that's gonna take a long time. I mean, we're gonna have to start all grassroots, and kids aren't even eligible. Plus, it's gonna be tough since you just raped that woman. Or maybe I could wish that there were no more genies. No, no, no. It's, I'll do it. Fucking psycho. Hi, my name is Jeannie Simmons, and I'm here to talk to you about Proposition 26-2A, which if voted for would enable children to run for president, and I just would like to... Hi, I'd like to talk to you about electing Billy Masterson to city council. Hi, I'd like to talk to you about Councilman Billy Masterson's campaign for mayor. Hi, I'd like to talk to you about our adorable child senator, Billy Masterson. Well, he's decided to take a run for the Oval Office. Our pollsters in Virginia say it is going 49 to 51 there in favor of the governor of Alaska. 
Ladies and gentlemen, we've just received word with 63% of our precincts reporting in. We are calling it for Billy Masters. Well, kid, guess this is goodbye. We've had some times, haven't we, Jeannie? Yeah. My bitch teacher's dead, I got some sweet puss, and now I'm the leader of the free world. Picked up smoking. My doctor says I have an ulcer. <laughs> One moment, please. Getting your results. One moment, please. Getting your results. One moment, please. Getting results. Please be patient while we get your results. Thank you for your patience while we look for your results. Okay. I'm getting your results now. Please hold for results. Results are in. I'm reading your results. Please hold while I'm reading your results. Congratulations, you don't have epilepsy. But you have tested positive for... Glaucoma. Um, okay. You had one super bacon cheeseburger. Yes. Um, with monster fries and extreme sauce. Yes, thank you. Um... A Spider-Man Coke and, oh, one large pickle. Okay, thanks for shopping. <laughs> Next in line, please. Um, hold on a second. Let me talk to your manager. Um, I am the manager. No refunds. Next in line, please. No, not next in line, please. You threw up all over my food. Um, no, I didn't. Thanks for shopping at Wendy's. No, you did. Get the manager. Dude, why are you making a scene? All these people are watching you. You look ridiculous right now. Okay. Help! Manager, please! Dude, narc! Yes, can I help you? I'm the manager. Uh, yes, your employee just threw up all over my food. Um, no, I didn't. He threw up on his own food. No, he did it. I saw him. Uh, okay, you got me. Can't blame a guy for trying, though. I tried to play it off. <laughs> Up top. No. No, Brian, you're not feeling well. You need to go home. No, I think you need to go home because you're the one that's not feeling well. Brian, I'm not going to tell you again. Go home. Dude, why are you making such a scene? Everyone's watching. You look ridiculous right now. Go home, Brian. Uh, no, Mr. Ligurski. I'm not going to make out with you and take you to prom like you always ask me to. Okay, Brian, that is strike three. You're fired. 
Uh, you can't fire me because my dad owns the franchise. No, Brian, I own the franchise. Your dad is the town drunk, and you are fired. Now go. All right. <laughs> Tried to play it off, though. <laughs> Come on, up top. Get out. Come on. Get out. Okay. I will get out. But you guys will all be sorry. You'll never know what you were missing. Because I swear to God that that dude was the dude that threw up in his own... <laughs> You can use a delicious fruity beverage! Who are you? Might I suggest Fizzy Pop's Great Blast? The new soda from Johnson and Hedges. Open wide, kids! Cause I've got a grape you in the mouth! Ah! He's going to what them in the mouth? He's gonna grape them. He's going to grape them? Yeah, in the mouth. Right. Sure. There's more. No, I, <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, I, all right, well, I'm not sure that I'm comfortable with the catchphrase, I'm going to grape you in the mouth for our new mascot. Yeah, I mean, we're just not sure about that one. <laughs> yeah, we might want to workshop at a touch. Really? Why? That, that's his thing. He grapes people. He grapes people in the mouth. We're just not exactly sure that that he is. He sneaks into little kids' rooms in the middle of the night, and he grapes them in the mouth. Okay, see, because I think that the reason that I'm a little hesitant is because to me, it sounds like he's saying, to me, it sounds like he's saying he's going to rape them. What? Oh. Oh. No. No, 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 no. What? Oh. I'm sorry. <clears throat> I, it's Sir, get your mind out of the gutter. He's a grape. How is a grape going to rape a kid? What are you talking about? But it sounds like it's, it's a grape commercial, sir. I love it. He, like, grapes the kids. OK, I mean, if I'm in the minority here, we can keep going. Come here, kids! I'm going to die in the radiator and grape you! OK. What? Why'd you stop it? I'm going to tie you to the radiator and grape you? What? I'm going to rape you! Hmm? No, that's what it sounds like he's saying! I love it! Really? Are you back on this rape thing again? Why was he gonna tie them to a radiator? That's how he grapes people! That's what he does! No! He's the grapist! The grapist? That's his name? The grapist! Classic! This is obviously a rape scenario! What? Why are you trying to twist a children's soda commercial into your weird, sick, sort of twisted, pervy... Why were they running? Why was that child screaming, Mom? Well, that kid is a horrible actor, and the next time we shoot the commercial, we're gonna use somebody else, because the thing is... These kids were obviously horrified. Not that girl. Look, she's totally asking for it. What? Look at her. She's begging to get graped. Will you listen to yourself? Look what she's wearing. Look what she's wearing? It's purple. Oh, okay. No, no, no. Grape those kids. I love it. Look, do you guys want the commercial or not? Yes, we want the commercial. Of course we want the commercial. Well, we it's want just... it. Here's the paperwork. I just have some serious reservations about this whole thing. Do you mind? No, not at all. Ah! Buy some today and get a free grape whistle. A grape whistle? Really? Okay, when I finish scraping you, I'm gonna go upstairs and I'm gonna grape your mother and your father, and then I'm gonna take your whole family down to the basement and grape you all for decades and decades and See, decades. See, I think this is too much. I think it's too much. Shh. Thanks. Hey, give me one of those lottery tickets. New Fizzy Pop Grape Blast.
Five Dave, did you take out the trash? <laughs> In a second. And now it's time for the Power Slam Pick 7. Tonight's winning numbers are... 6, 12, 29... Woo! Woo! What are you going to do with all that money? Well, I have plans to invest. <laughs> all right, like 35 million lottery tickets, please. What are you going to do with all that money? I have some more plans to invest. 69. Thanks for playing the Power Slam 7. You're an idiot, you know that? Fuck you. Take out the trash. Hi. Hello, Ronald Reagan. Nice to meet you. Mr. Reagan, I'm your biggest fan. I love that movie where you get drunk with a monkey. Oh. Bless your heart. Thank you. <laughs> Mr. Reagan, now that you're president, are you still going to make movies? The president will be very busy serving the country. I don't think I have any time to make any movies. Oh. Well, I don't know about that. Oh. I don't know. Yeah, you're the best, Mr. Reagan. <laughs> okay, I'm really sorry, everybody, but the president has to go, okay? Let's... President Reagan, uh, have you seen any movies that you've liked recently? Well... Okay, again, I'm really sorry. We've got to be on our way. Okay? Well, hold on now. I'm talking about the movies. Now, I quite like those... Star Wars movies. Okay, oh. Mr. President, we have a very important meeting to go to, so... Hey, president, would you consider being in one of those Star Wars movies? Oh. Okay, the President's not gonna be in any Star Wars oh. movies. Now, now, hold on. I... I think I might do a pretty mean Han Solo impersonation. Oh, watch it, Joey, there's stormtroopers around. Mr. <laughs> <laughs> so, president, we have a very important meeting about how to stop the unprecedented uprise of AIDS this decade. Oh, fuck all that shit. I'm talking about the movie. Yeah. Yeah. Jeez. Uh, I don't know, Mr. Benji. There sure are an awful lot of people around him. They're probably all gonna be hopping mad if I go and shoot the President of the United States. What? Nah. No, they will. They totally will. They'll be plenty mad. Then they'll probably all chase me down and beat me up or something. No, they won't. People don't like to get involved. They'll probably just think it was something between you and him. They'll be like, whoa, not my business. I don't know. I'm starting to think I'm a crazy person for even considering something like this. You? John Hinckley? Crazy? Don't be ridiculous. Let me tell you what would be crazy. Finding a talking dog on your doorstep one morning and not doing everything it tells you to do. Yeah, I guess you're right. Of course I'm right. Now don't be a crazy person and go and shoot the president in the fucking face. I think he's buying it, Vice President George Bush. Shh, come on, really? Why the hell would you say that? Sorry about that, sir. You said my name and title. It sounded so unnatural. So sorry, sir. I think he's buying it, Vice President George H.W. Bush, who lives in Washington, D.C. Sorry, sir. You're a CIA agent, for Christ's sake. So sorry. Shut up! Don't say sorry! My B. Stop it! Sorry about that. You, no, stop saying sorry. Don't even say sorry. Just stop talking. Sorry. Stop! Why don't you just read out my entire social security number while you're at it? Jesus! Doggy, why do you have two voices? Nothing. I'm just possessed with demons. <gasps> like in The Exorcist. <gasps> Oh my god! That movie is so scary! <gasps> the first time I saw it, I couldn't watch a little girl sleeping in a bed for months. Yeah, it was really scary. Now come on, let's do this shit. <gasps> you know what a really scary movie is? Have you ever seen Rosemary's Baby? No, John, let's stay focused. Oh my god, doggy, you have to see it. Okay, Mr. President, we got this budget meeting that we really gotta... <laughs> That was my Chewbacca impression. <laughs> uh, Mr. Reagan, what are you going to do about the Soviets? Oh, well, I think I'll tell everyone that they're like the Empire. That way, nobody will like them. Yeah! <laughs> and then I'll tell NASA to build its own Star Wars weapons. Yeah! 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 yeah.
Mr. President, are we getting a Death Star? Oh, we're getting a Death Star! Yeah! 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 And then the shark comes up, and the lady's all like, And it was so scary. I don't care. John, listen to me. John! Like, seriously? Top three times scared ever. Hey, do you want to know what this is from? No, I don't. Are you talking to me? No. Because there's nobody else here. I don't care. Then who are you talking I to? I don't care. John, John Hinckley, listen to the possessed dog. It's from Taxi Driver. Have you seen that movie? It is so Good. Jodie Foster's in it, and she's like super cute. Hey, I know Jodie Foster. You do? Yeah, and I'll get her to blow you if you'll shoot the goddamn president in the face so I can fucking be president. Okay, sounds good. God, people fucking love movies. Do, 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 do